Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's Dave from UltramegaDeathRay.com, and man, do I have some news for you. So I've been busy today just getting things in motion with this new job I have now, and I just remembered that I didn't really write anything or get anything in motion for like a new video uh, for today. Like I like to keep myself busy with the site every weekday at least. So you can imagine how pleasantly surprised I was when I found out just now that Lucasfilm, and by extension Disney, is getting into a multi-year agreement with Electronic Arts in order to make new Star Wars games. Now hold the phone. I know you're putting up those pitchforks and torches when hearing EA's name, but keep in mind the studios they own who will actually be working on these future Star Wars titles. Most notably DICE, who are known for the Battlefield franchise, also Visceral Games, who are known for the Dead Space series, and Bioware, who is known for the Mass Effect trilogy, as well as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic back in the day. If we were to break this down by studio, I could definitely see DICE making a lot of gamers' dreams come true, and finally come out with the highly requested Battlefront 3. It just makes too much sense for a studio that's known for their first-person shooters. Plus, I mean, come on. Battlefield, Battlefront, you barely even have to change the name. Just slap on Star Wars in the front and you're golden. Visceral is kind of a tricky one, since you have to imagine they won't be making a Star Wars game as violent as Dead Space, but if I had to fathom a guess, I want to say that they're going to pick up the Star Wars 1313 title. It's in third person, you're playing as a mercenary out in space, it's got this darker, grittier feeling to it, so it seems to make the most sense for the studio. That and also 1313 was one of the more highly anticipated Star Wars games before the Disney acquisition and LucasArts got shut down. And that leaves us with Bioware, in which we have to ask, what else would they make besides a new Knights of the Old Republic? I mean, if not a new KOTOR, then I imagine that they would make something very similar gameplay-wise. I could definitely see them taking what they learned from the Mass Effect series and applying that into a brand new Star Wars action RPG. Just please do me the favor and skip out on the planet mining. Oh, and you might want to apply a little more time when coming up with an ending also. <laughs> so that's my two cents. Let me know what you think of this news as well as which games you'd like to see come out of this deal in the comments below. Also feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, this is Dave from UltramegaDeathRay.com. I'll catch you guys later. Oh!